Hello everybody and thank you for joining me. I'm Saba here for the mtgnoob.com doing another gay crash draft. I would like to thank all our great viewers who provide excellent feedback on my videos. I make these videos to help myself and others improve at magic. So please remember to visit our site the mtgnoob.com and let's get started. Alright here we are for the first pack and the rare is an alms beast which is alright it's a four drop kind of hard to deal with uh, let's see what else we have uh, there's an Odoron veteran not very good for a first pick an angelic edict same thing there's a devour flesh which is alright removal not a whole lot else that's too exciting I think the best card is the alms beast it's a four drop so you usually want to keep below five drops in uh, gay crash there's an urban evolution which would uh, be a Simic card, but it's not too horribly great as Simic. It's more for a splash card. Nothing single color to keep us open. Yeah, let's just take the Alms Beast and go from there. We might not play it, but there isn't much else that's better. Uh, there's a Signal of Clans, which isn't very playable. Daring Skyjack is pretty sweet. Uh, there's a Frilled Oculus. Uh, Wojek Halberdiers, which is pretty nice. Uh, Spell Rupture's alright. I think the Skyjack, it goes with our first pick better, and uh, we want uh, two drops are probably better. The Wojek Halberdiers is probably better. Yeah, let's take the Wojek Halberdiers for a 3 2 2 drop, is better than the Skyjack, I think. It's a uh, battalion trigger, gives it first strike, which is kind of hard to deal with. Yeah, let's go ahead and take the Halberdiers. Uh, there's a Burning Tree Emissary, which is um, decent in Boros, but better in Gruul. There's a Demir Guildmage, uh, an Incursion Specialist, a Sage's Road Denizen's alright. There's a Gutter Skulk, Death's Approach. Um, getting some removal wouldn't be too bad. Uh, I think the best card is probably just the Burning Tree Emissary. Dusk Mantle Guild Mage is pretty good too. Let's take the Guild Mage. I think it goes better with our other picks. Um, that probably might be wrong, but I think uh, Demir might be open. Usually is. Uh, there's a Bane Alley Broker, which is pretty nice. Mortar Strider is alright if you can abuse it. Another Devour Flesh, which would be alright. Uh, and there's also a Hands of Binding. Best card is probably the Bane Alley Broker, followed by probably the Daring Skyjack. And then Hands of Binding or Devour Flesh, depending on your deck. Uh, let's go ahead and take the Bane Alley Broker. Uh, if we keep getting Demir stuff, we might be able to uh, have a nice Demir deck. Uh, there's a Gruul Kirun, a Cartel Aristocrat, which isn't too bad. Leyline Phantom, uh, not a whole lot else. Millennium Gargoyle, Act of Treason. Cinder Elemental is pretty good too. Go with the Wojek Halberdiers. It's usually better to go with the cheaper ones, so I'll take the Aristocrat. Not sure where we're going here. There's another Bane Alley Broker, which should be alright, but we want to be a bit more aggressive. There's a Skin Brand Goblin. Uh, aerial Maneuvers, totally lost. I think the Broker's the best card here. Yeah, let's go ahead and take the Broker. Hopefully, we can get some more aggressive stuff. Uh, there's a Corpse Blockade, which is alright. Prophetic Prism to help with splashing. Not a whole lot else here. Let's take the Corpse Blockade. It helps defend us from some early aggression from a Boros deck or an aggressive Gruul deck. So let's go ahead and take that. Uh, there's a Parasite Thrall, which is alright. A Bellistrad Spy, which is pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, I think the Spy's a lot better than the Thrall at this point, so let's go ahead and take that. Uh, the Urban Land Evolution came back, so did the Midnight Recovery. Let's take the Midnight Recovery, I think. Paranoid Delusions, we're not really on the mill plan at the moment. Sky Games isn't very playable, same with Predatory Report. 
denizen isn't really what we're doing yet. Yeah, let's take the recovery. Uh, there's a shadow slice, which is pretty nice. There's also a ruffian. Uh, I think the shadow slice is probably better here. It is a five drop. Yeah, I think that as a finisher is probably going to serve us better there. Uh, the psychic strike came back. That's pretty nice for us. Let's go ahead and take that. Or the gutter skulk. Yeah, let's take the strike. We can get some gutter skulks later. Mortar strider came around. That's all right. There's a leyline phantom, which isn't that bad. Ten street market. Probably not gonna play it in an island. All right. I think at this point we're looking fairly decent for uh, Demir. Uh, we could splash white for the alms beast and stuff. Uh, we opened uh, Angelic Skirmisher, which make me want to play white a whole lot more. There's also a uh, Basilica Screecher, which would be nice. Uh, Demir Guildgate. Uh, I think I just have to take this Skirmisher here. It is a 6 drop, but if we cap out at that uh, I think that should be fairly decent for us. I don't want to play against it in any case. Uh, the Screecher might be better for us, um, but hopefully we can get um, some Screechers. Let's just take the Angel and see where we go from there. Uh, here there's a Devour Flesh and not a whole lot else for us. There's also an Orzov Guildgate um, I would like to get some removal, so let's go ahead and take the Devour Flesh here. Yeah, let's take Devour Flesh. Uh, there's a Viscopa Guild Mage, which is decent. There's a Gutter Skull, a Death Cult Rogue, which I think is what we'll take here. There's also a Keymaster Rogue. Yeah, I think uh, our better cards are in the mirror at the moment. Two Bane Alley Brokers and the Dusk Mantle Guild Mage. Cartel Aristocrat. Works really well with the Mortar Strider, um, and the Alms Beast is alright. We might splash that. Um, but I think where we're at now, the Death Cult Rogue is probably going to be better for us. Getting a Pongify would be pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to take the Pongify. I want some removal. Uh, Diluvium Primordial is expensive. There's another Guild Mage. Uh, Metropolis Sprite. Uh, I think another Guild Mage is probably going to be better for us. Getting a Sprite would be nice. Uh, getting some more evasion, but uh, if we can use the Guild Mage, that should be pretty decent for us. Yeah, let's take the Guild Mage. I could be wrong, but uh, I think it should be fine. We get another Metropolis Sprite and a Sage's Road Denizen. There's also a Gridlock. Uh, I think here we take the Sprite. Getting early aggressive uh, evasive guys should do us fairly well. There's an Aetherize which would be pretty nice and a Keymaster Rogue. Uh, I think just taking the Aetherize here is going to be pretty sweet for us. Uh, there's a Bane Alley, De or a Shadow Alley Denison, a Mortis Strider, a Last Thoughts. I think the Denison will probably help us uh, sneak in some damage, so let's go ahead and take that. There's a Demir Charm, which is really nice. That's a good gift for us. Let's go ahead and take that. Uh, Leyline Phantom, Demir Guild Gate. Let's take the Guild Gate here. Help us splash if we need to. Totally Lost came around, and so did an Orzova Guild Gate. Or Orzov Guildgate. Yeah, let's take the Guildgate. Totally Lost is a bit too expensive for us. Uh, we get a Gutter Skulk, which is pretty good. Uh, I'd like to get some more removal and a few more creatures. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to do the Angelic Skirmisher at this point. Um, but getting some more creatures and some removal will be pretty nice. Uh, another finisher would be decent too. Uh, we get another Metropolis Sprite which will serve us pretty good. Nothing much here for us. Let's take the Forced Adaptation and the Razor Tip Whip and a Plains. Alright, we we have a decent start here. Uh, still some holes to fill. 
but I think uh, we should be pretty good. Uh, we open a separate call primordial, which isn't really what we want. There's a white of precinct six, which I think is what we want. Uh, there's a Bellistrad Spy, there's a Death's Approach, uh, and a Sage's Road Denizen. I think the white is just going to be a whole lot stronger for us, especially if we can pick up a few more mill cards. So let's go ahead and take the white here. Uh, there's a Denrova Horror, which while it's a 6 drop, is just a beating. Um, not a whole lot else here. Last thoughts on the wheel or another gutter skulk would be all right. Uh, nothing too scary there. So let's take the horror. Uh, there's a void walk. There's a basilica screecher, which is going to be the pick. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take the screecher. Nothing else comparable. There's a mugging, which we could hate, but screecher is a decent card for us. There's a Scatter Arc, which isn't too exciting. Um, another Midnight Recovery, also not exciting. Um, I think we are going to want to splash white a little bit, so getting another uh, Guild Gate here is going to be decent for us. Uh, there's another Aristocrat, another white, uh, a Bellistrad Spy. Uh, I think the white is going to be better for us here, having a couple of those. Maybe we'll get another spy or a keymaster rogue. But I think the white is just pretty strong for us here. Uh, there's a spell rupture, a scatter arc, uh, neither of which is too exciting. There's a coarse confession, which is a bit too expensive. Uh, let's take the Spell Rupture here. It's the cheaper card. Uh, there's another Rapid Hybridization uh, and a Keymaster Rogue as well as a Devour Flesh. I think between Rapid Hybridization and Devour Flesh we probably want the Devour Flesh or the Hands of Binding. Uh, I think we'll take the Hands of Binding. I'd like to get one of those. Uh, Dying Wish isn't really what we want, neither is Contaminated Grounds. There's a Riot Gear, which isn't horribly exciting. Uh, nothing really worth ha hating here, maybe a Verdant Haven. Let's just take the Riot Gear here. Uh, there's an Incursion Specialist, uh, Death's Approach, which is pretty sweet, we definitely want that. Uh, we have a decent amount of creatures, so I'm not hurting, and none of these are too exciting. Uh, the Sage's Road Denizen, which would be nice, but we might get one of those on the wheel. Uh, Death's Approach is just really good removal. Here, uh, Last Thoughts is alright. Hopefully we can draw some cards with it. There's a Void Walk and a Way of the Thief. Uh, don't have many come into play effects. Bouncing the Denrova Horror is alright. Uh, I think Way of the Thief is probably going to be better for us. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that. Scatterheart came back. Probably won't play it, but we'll go ahead and take it. Nav Squad Commandos, sure. Another Scatter Arc. And a Mountain. Alright. Didn't wheel some of the things we would have liked, but I think we have a pretty strong start here. I'll have to whittle it down a little bit see where we are. We probably don't need the white splash anymore. We have uh, some decent removal, some counters. Uh, I think we probably can get away without the the splash here. Alright, here we are for deck building. So let's take out the gates for the moment. Uh, rapid hybridization is nice. Death's approach. Shadow Alley Denison is a maybe. Let's take out the White Splash to start with. I don't think we need it. Uh, Metropolis Sprite is definitely worth it. So is, uh, I think since we have two Sprites, the Hand of Binding should be pretty nice. Spell Rupture is a maybe. Basilica Screecher, definitely. Uh, Devour Flesh. Gutter Skulk will be alright. Uh, so will these Whites. Demir Chard, definitely. Uh, one guild mage. I'm not sure about the other one. Maybe the other bear we were thinking about might have been better. 
Uh, Riot Gear is also in the maybe pile. I'm not too excited about that. Corpse Blockade is alright. It's probably going to be a necessary evil here for us uh, to keep us alive while our flyers get in. Bane Alley Broker is pretty sweet. Mortar Strider, uh, we don't have a whole lot of shenanigans. Uh, with the Corpse Blockade, it's alright, but I'm not sure. Psychic Strike should be better than the other counters we have. Aetherize is going to be a good trick for us. Uh, Bellastrad Spy, definitely. Uh, I don't think we need the Leyline Phantom. We don't have uh, a lot of um, Evolve guys, so he's not going to help us evolve our guys over and over again. Uh, so we'll put them in the maybe pile. Uh, scatter arc, I'm not excited to play, so we'll just cut those right now. So that's 23 there. These aren't too exciting here, so we'll throw these up there also. These are what we definitely want to play. Uh, Domrova Horror as the top end is pretty sweet. Shadow Slice as a finisher should be pretty good for us also. Uh, I think we need three more cards, so uh, another Guild Mage isn't horrible. Uh, another Counter isn't that bad either. Last Thoughts is alright. Same with Midnight Recovery, we can get back our early chump blocks. Uh, and being able to um, extort with our one screecher, which is sad, should be all right. Mortis Strider is also a maybe. Shadow Alley Denizen probably going to be a bit better for us. Make our uh, guys unblockable. We do have quite a bit of black creatures. Uh, most of our creatures are black, so let's go ahead and add that. And I think. Way of the Thief, we have two guild gates that we're going to play. We're not going to splash. So, uh, Way of the Thief might be turned on fairly often. It could get us uh, with a two for one also. We need creatures, so let's add the guild mage for sure. And one more card. I'd like it to be another creature possibly. Maybe the Mortis Strider as an infinite blocker. Yeah, let's put the Mortis Strider in. Uh, we do have some combos with it. And uh, just as an infinite blocker isn't too horrible. That gives us 15 creatures, which is probably on the low end. Uh, we don't have any other creatures we could really throw in. There's a Leyline Phantom, which is alright. Uh, last thoughts could buy us some more, or we could splash, which isn't unreasonable. Let's separate the creatures. Um, yeah, we do have quite a few spells. Removal, 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 removal. So we have four uh, fairly hard removal spells, uh, a counter, and uh, one we can tap down a guy, and then an Aetherize. Yeah, I feel like this is alright. We have a lot of early drops to interact with. Quite a bit of evasion. Uh, we can filter with the Bane Alley Brokers. And they make fairly good uh, blockers. Yeah, I think uh, the Alms Beast is going to be better for us than the Mortis Strider. So we'll go ahead and splash that. Uh, we probably just need... Uh, two more planes, which shouldn't be too bad for us. Do we want the Mortis Strider over one of these spells? I don't think so. Yeah, let's go ahead and play it like this. We'll add lands. Uh, it says uh, no white. I think we need at least one over a swamp. That'll give us two white. Um, probably another blue over our swamp since we have two guild gates. Yeah, I want another planes. Three is probably the minimum you want on a splash. So we have six, nine black, and we can probably lose another black. So we'll have eight blue, nine black, and three white. Yeah, that sounds decent for us. 
All right, this will be our deck, and I will see you guys in the first round. Uh, thank you for watching.